Welcome to the episode 10 of Bridge Aus TV. Today, we will talk about the Job Ready program for chefs in Australia. I have here Kuljit. Kuljit is currently going through the Job Ready program. Just to explain what that is, um, Job Ready program is a four-step process which enables grad students who have taken up Certificate 3 and Certificate 4 in Commercial Cookery and Diploma of Hospitality to get a full skills assessment as a chef here in Australia. So the first step of the Job Ready program is the PSA, or we call it the Provisional Skills Assessment. So, so what, what did you go through that? Like, what are the requirements? So once I finished my diploma yeah. of hospitality, um, they required your Certificate 3, Certificate 4, and uh, plus 360 hours of experience as a chef. Yes. Uh, as a, I was working, I, I'm working, still working in the sh as a profession of chef. Yes. So I got that experience already. So I just uh, collect my cert three, cert four, plus experience from my restaurant. Yeah, and that's which how is, many hours again? Three hundred uh, three sixty hours. Three sixty hours. Okay. Yeah, and uh, they required uh, your pay slips. Yeah. Um, then uh, employment certificate. Yes. From your restaurant. Yep. Yeah. Where your your course, you know the what do you call that completion certificate? Completion certificate as well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but for the work, uh, they're saying it must be written on your certificate that you have worked, whatever the hours you have worked there. All right. Uh, what's your job duties? Yeah. And and tasks, uh, yeah. And tasks, yeah, of course. And what tools, equipments you guys are using there? Okay. Which is, I think, really important for them. Yeah. Even on their website, it's mentioned that um, you must be men mentioning that uh, what what tools, equipments you you guys are using there, and uh, your job duties as well. Okay. It should be mentioned on your uh, certif uh, employment certificate. Okay. And yeah. Kuljit, uh, when you applied for the PSA, what was your title? So. In my restaurant, my job title is line cook. Okay. Yeah. And what are the tasks that you perform? So, basically, I do the daily cooking process, whatever yes. we like, according to the menu, our yes. uh, dishes, whatever we're making there, mm -hmm. preparations, um, plating, make sure everything is according to the company standards. Yes. Uh, moreover, like as I'm working there from long. Yeah. So we always have a new cooks there as it's a big company mm -hmm. and uh, giving them training and uh, showing them everything, how everything goes, how, how the kitchen works, okay. maintaining the equipment. All right. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So because um, many people ask me this, right? So they, they think that they cannot apply for a PSA if their title is not a chef. So just um, bear in mind that the PSA is just a provisional skills assessment. It doesn't say that you really are a full, it's not a full, assess, full skills assessment as a chef. It's provisional because you get the chef skills assessment because you've finished Certificate 3, Certificate 4, and Diploma. So that's just basically it. And it asks you to get at least 360 hours of work experience. Yeah. Right? Um, and when you applied, what visa were you holding? So that time I was on student visa. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just to get that 485 visa. Yes. So I need to apply for that PSA. Yes. But by the time I was on student visa. Okay. That's yeah. correct. So um, I've, I said a while ago there's a four-step process. So we've discussed the first one. Yeah. But the first, first process really is a requirement for a 485 visa. 
Yeah. So for 485 visa, um, for the graduate stream, which is for the chefs, you have to have at least two years of studying in Australia. Yeah. And you should have a skills assessment, which is the PSA. Yeah. Right? So you've gone through that. Um, and then from there, we move on to the second step, right? Yeah. So the second step is called the job ready employment, employment. which is the JRE. What are the requirements for JRE? JRE? Yeah. For that, so you have you should have a positive uh, provisional skills assessment. Correct. Yes. And once you finish that, um, they will come to your restaurant mm -hmm. for uh, just to have a look to make sure that okay, you are working there. Yes. To meet your supervisor, mm -hmm. uh, look at the workplace. Yeah. Uh, so they're just uh, making it sure, okay, is it uh, capable for a uh, uh, next process of the job ready program? Yeah. Um, and how many hours is required to get a successful JRE? JRE. So it's a, you mean the... The number of hours that you have to work. So it's 1,700. And 25. 25 hours, yeah, yeah. yeah. 1725. Yeah. And that 1725, can you finish that? Like, if, say, for example, you're doing 100 hours a week, yeah. can you finish it like in nine months? Like, will it be allowed? Um, yes, you can. What they're saying, okay, for them, it doesn't matter uh, in what time frame you're going to finish it. Yeah. But for them, you have to work, uh, wait for at least one year. Yeah. Um, so even. It, it depends, like yeah. how many hours you're working. Some people yeah. like 30, some Correct. people 40, Sometimes 45. there's not much shift. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I guess um, for the 1725, you can, com you, know, you can finish it at any time, meaning because of your workload. Yeah. But the requirement for um, TRA is that you should have finished it in 12 months. If you finish it in nine months, they'll still wait for the 12th yeah. month before they say that you're success, you have successfully finished this. Now, um, I've heard that, well, job read employment, mm -hmm. you are required to do journals, right? Monthly journals. So what do you put on the journals? So journals, uh, you have to submit every month. Yeah. And uh, once you reach your quarter of mm -hmm. three months, then you all have to submit all of them on your website. Plus, you have to get signatures of your supervisor. Yeah. And uh, but for the journals, it's basically your job duties, yeah. like what what you have did in that month, particular mm -hmm. month. So you're gonna mention that okay, that's the jobs I did that month. Mm -hmm. And if you got any problems while you're working in that month, you have to mention that. Yeah. Um, Do you need and to explain all of the tasks or you can just explain one? So you can choose one of it mm -hmm. and you can explain, explain it like two to 500 words. All right. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. Like you just have, normally you have to write down your not, uh, normal job duties. Okay. What you have done. That so process, do you find that difficult? Is it difficult to do? Is it? No, I don't think so. It's difficult okay. because you know that what you have did in your recent month, in the past month. Yeah. Um, I think it's easy. You just need you just need to remind you. You just gonna you just type need the it. time, right? Yeah, Sometimes exactly. you guys get so busy and yeah, yeah. And the thing with the journals is that it locks up every month. Yeah. So there's a deadline, whatever it is, the date that they say that you've started. Say you've started on the third. Every third, it would just lock. Lockdown. Yeah. So before the third, make sure you put in all your tasks exactly. and um, uh, explain one task each time. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that's that. The second step. We move on to the third step. Yeah. Okay. So the third step is called JRWA, Job Ready Workplace Assessment. And the requirement for this, as I understand, is half of the 1725, right? Yes. If you, should, if you have at least 863 hours worked yeah. within the last six months since mm -hmm. you've started the, J, the Job Ready program, then yeah. you can be eligible. Um, yeah. So that means, you know, halfway through step two, you can mm -hmm. do JRWA, yeah. right? Sorry. Now, I just wanted to know your experience, right? Okay. So you've... Kuljit here has 
a positive outcome already for JRWA. But how did that happen? You know, did they invite you? Did you invite them? Yeah. Um, and how did they interview you in your workplace? Yeah. So once I reached uh, half of the hours, which is 863 hours, yeah. uh, they have sent me an email mm -hmm. that uh, you have reached your 863 hours, which is half of your total hours. Yes. And uh, now you are eligible for job ready workplace assessment. Mm -hmm. um, then they told me uh, you just you can go on their website. Yes. You can pay the fees. Yes. Which is two thousand dollars. Yes. And uh, once you pay your fees, uh, your license officer will contact you. Yeah. And will make an appointment. Yeah. To come on your come at your workplace. Mm -hmm. And just. Uh, we'll see you how you dom demonstrate your skills there. They will check how you're working. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I have done it. And they came to my restaurant. Mm -hmm. I have paid like fees, everything. They came there. Um, first of all, I met them. They have seen like just to make sure like I'm the correct person who is sitting yeah. in front of them. They yeah. have seen my ID. Yeah. And um, they just explain me how it's gonna work, how what's the process for the job ready uh, workplace assessment, yeah. what they're gonna do. Uh, and uh, so in the first time, uh, in, the, in the beginning, they, had, they told me to explain that what I have done so far since yeah. I start my day there. Your, your shift that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah my shift that day. And uh, so I explained them everything, yeah. like I start my shift nine o'clock okay that's what i have done so yeah. far and uh, they are, they are re writing everything mm -hmm. they got a file they have write down everything in there whatever i have uh spoke there and uh, then they told me okay you can go in the kitchen yeah. they go they're gonna have a uh, few words with my supervisor yeah and uh, later on they will come come in the kitchen okay. they will see me how i'm working mm -hmm. Um, how, how did that feel? <laughs> Someone <laughs> looking over your yeah. shoulder. <gasps> Actually, I was really nervous that yeah, day. Yeah. Uh, because I had my assessment 5 p.m. Oh, it yeah. was like after all the day gone. Yeah. And uh, but like once I met them, I was like feeling a little bit okay. Yeah. Because you, okay, you are already on the way. Now you have to do it. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then, okay, they had words with my head chef, mm -hmm. and later they both came in the kitchen. Okay. And the guy was like writing everything again. All right. He was looking at um, uh, at each and every step of me. Okay. So, luckily, there was a new chef that day. Yeah. Which I have uh, I have to give the training, yeah. and uh, yeah, so he just looking at me. He was just. Uh, looking at my knife skills, mm -hmm. how I'm um, working with the dockets okay. and how long I'm taking. They have seen me like how I'm plating the food. All right. Um, is it like uh, according to the company standards? Yeah. Um, how long did that take? Like, um, okay, so he spoke with you mm -hmm. and then he was just watching you. How long did that take? So they took two hours. All right. So it took... Uh, so they came five o'clock and yeah. they left exactly at seven o'clock. Oh wow! So uh, I would say like so one for one hour yeah. they were just focusing on me what I am doing there. Okay. Yeah. And at the end of it, um, did you get any you know feedback that yes you've passed, yes yeah, it's good or not or not really? Uh, no. Okay. There was no feedback. All right. So that's more. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was really nervous. Like, okay, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen next. Yes. Because I just work as normal. What I'm doing in the normal day there. Mm -hmm. So, but I was confused. Like, uh, before the before they leave, they just said, uh, "See you, Kuljit. Bye." <laughs> right. uh, I said, "Okay, bye." But I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. So, so from there on, um, how many days, or maybe weeks, or months? Um, did you hear from them and did you get the feedback and did you get the result? Yeah, so so it took one week yeah. for me to get the outcome. Yes, that's very and fast. Yes. Yeah. So 
So they just emailed me. My, my liaison officer informed me that okay, you have passed your assessment, mm -hmm. and uh, they congratulate me. Yeah. And plus, they have uh, attached a file which was the uh, uh, you mean I mean whatever they have uh, written in my all right yes. uh, the the observation yeah. yeah in the report yeah. And uh, I have seen like. They write exactly what I have did that day. All right. There was nothing like okay. They have write from their side. Yes. Or different words. Yeah. Whatever I have mentioned them. Whatever I have worked on front of them. Yeah. It was totally it's like everything was same written there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So three steps, actually four steps plus the four eight five you've yeah. done, right? Yeah. Now the last step that we have is the job ready final assessment or JRFA yeah. um, and this is only $150 so basically it's it can happen it happens when Kuljit finishes the 12 months yeah. 12 months of journals that's it yeah that's it and then they will get the outcome outcome yeah, yeah outcome for um, the, the last step and that's the skills assessment now what Kuljit will get is an outcome letter that he's a full, a full skills assessment as a chef. Yeah. And that means that his role is in the MLTSSL and he would be eligible to apply for a permanent residency visa. Yeah. You've, um, thank you for um, sharing the pricing a while ago because I wasn't able to say that. So just to recap, um, there are four steps from the TRA side and there's one step on the Department of Immigration. Yeah. Right um, for the visa side of things. Actually, there's two. There's the 485 and the PR. Yeah. So the first step, prov provisional skills assessment (PSA), it's um, three hundred dollars. The second step is JRE, Job Ready Employment, and that is five hundred dollars. The third step, JRWA, Job Ready Workplace Assessment, that's the most expensive one. Yeah. It's $2,000 and uh, the most nerve-wracking one. Exactly. <laughs> and the fourth step is the Job Ready final, final Assessment, and it's only $100, $150, which is, that's, it's like the end of it. It's the end of it. Yeah. And from there on, you move on to the permanent residency visa. Yeah. So, Kuljit, last question. Um, what are your tips for people who would go through the JRE? Just just three simple tips. What will you tell them? Like, hey, you should do this, this, and that. Uh, I think, first of all, we don't need to be get nervous. Yeah. Like, uh, what I have seen, even it, it happened to me, like, before you apply for job-ready program, provisional yeah. skills assessment, which is the first step. Yeah. I was really confused because... Mm -hmm. My title was as a line cook, yeah. and everybody has told me you can't yeah, apply it correct. because you are a cook, you yeah. are not a chef. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, your job duties really matter. Yeah, the task. What you're doing there, like as I have trained a lot of chefs there, and uh, plus you also have your study. Mm -hmm. So they might ask ask you in your. Um, job ready workplace assessment about yeah. like do you create menus or something all right but as long as you have study of course you have a little bit of knowledge of it okay and you know that so i i would say you don't need to be nervous yeah uh you should be focusing on your job duties if if it's good you have must you must mention in your um uh job reference letter and just don't think about anything else, just simply apply for it. So, as what Kuljit said, just don't be nervous, you know, keep calm. Yeah. Focus on the tasks, because it's the tasks that will get you there, you yeah. know, whether you get approved or not. And he also um, said a point about, you know, as what I've said, you, you don't need to be a chef yeah. to get the PSA. At the end of it, the last step, which is the, the third step, JRWA, you're still not the she a chef yet, right? Yeah. They, you're, they're training you to become a chef. To, yeah. A chef, you're in the middle. Um, but there are there are tasks of a chef sometimes that even a chef role does not do in yeah. reality. In your case, creating a menu. Yeah. It's a big company. They create their own menu in the corporate. Yeah. So you know, 
TRA would understand that as long as they can see that you perform the tasks that you have written and, um, and you perform it to the standard of the company and the health and safety standards as well. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Kuljit. No worries. Thank you. If you want to check if you are eligible to migrate in Australia, please visit our website www.bridgeaus.com.au for a free initial assessment.